In this video, I'll be finding the complex modes using the direct method of this system. First, start a new patch on session. The units I'll use for this example are inches, pounds, and for my mass, I'll be using pounds, seconds squared per inch. Created my new patch on file, and I'll call it problem 26. Click OK here. I'll start by making my nodes. So here in the meshing tab, click edit. And we'll start typing in nodes. So at the bottom, start with 000, 300, 600. After you close that last one, hit enter or hit apply. And just to show you the nodes, I'll turn on the, the marker here called node size. Now it's time to make the elements. So go back to the meshing tab, click element, edit. The shape is bar. We'll go from here to here, here to here, and so on. Now I'll go ahead and create a new group called point elements. Leave make current checked so that anything I create will be added to this group. So then hit apply. So when I come here and create a new element by hitting element edit, first I'll cancel out of this group tab. You'll see that the action is create, object is element, and method is added. My shape should be a point. And for node one, I will make one point element here, another one here, here, and so on. Let me turn on the model tree, and under groups, you'll see two things. If I turn off point elements, you'll see that the point elements are gone. And let me turn off the node size. If I turn the group on again, it'll show me the point elements. And I did this for a uh, convenience thing, so we aren't struggling later on. We'll go ahead and define our material by going to the properties tab and selecting isotropic. Here the material is matte. Under input properties, give it a Young's modulus of 3E9 PSI and a Poisson ratio of 0.3. Click OK. And hit apply. We'll go ahead and apply this material to the, the beams now. So here under 1D properties, select beam. Call this property beam prop. Under input properties, give it a material name or select the material we just created. Give it a bar orientation of 1 in the x, 0 in the y, and z. The area here will be 0.79. Our inertia 1, 1 would be 0.049 and 0 0.049 for inertia 2.2. Two. Click OK for your application region. Select elements 1, 2, 3. So that would be, first you would select beam elements so I can actually select these three elements. Click Add, OK, and Apply. Now to define our springs. Under Windy Properties, click the spring icon. Call this spring prop. Under input properties, give it a spring constant of 500. Degree of freedom would be UX for node 1 and 2. For application region, select element 4 and 5 here at the bottom. Add it, OK, and apply. 
let me hide this default group so I just have this group visible with its uh, point elements here. I must first define zero D properties mass. Close this tab. You notice you're in create zero D mass. Call this mass prop. For my input properties, I'll give this a mass of, let me cancel this. Let me make this a lumped one under input properties. My mass will be 0 0.01. Click OK, and for your application region, you will select the bottom elements here. And right now I have a point selected. It should be point element. So then I am able to drag a window and select these six or three elements, add it, OK, and apply. Now it's time to create a grounded damper. Here under 0D properties, look for the grounded damper icon. Call this damper prop. Under input properties, give it a damping coefficient of 20 and click OK. Or actually, go back there. This damper is about the Z direction. So make sure this is RZ. Click OK. The application region. This will be applied to element 9. Just this top left one. Add it. OK. I should call this uh, damper prop 9 and apply. Make a new one called damper prop 10. For your input properties, give this a value of 60. Hit OK. For your application region, you'll select this damper or element 10. Add it to the application region. Click OK and hit apply. Your next one is damper prop 11. Your next one is damper prop 11. For your input properties, type in 120. RZ as usual. For Click OK. For your application region, select this one. Add it, OK, and apply. We've defined the properties, and now we're moving on to the boundary conditions. I'll make one displacement constraint and call it TZ because here what we're doing is constraining just the Z direction. So that's why the zero is here in the third place. Click OK, select application region. We're working with the mesh. So just select this fem, pick all the nodes. And right now I just click pick all and it's not working. The reason is because the group with all the nodes is not currently visible. Once I make that visible and I close this tab, I can pick all the nodes. Click Add, OK, and Apply. Next, I'm going to define a new one. Here, I'll call this one 1, 2, 4, and 5. The reason it's called 1, 2, 4, and 5 is because I'm fixing the one direction, the 2, the 4, the 5, and not the 6 and not the three either, and that's why these two are blank. Hit OK. For your application region, we'll apply this to nodes one, two, and three. And that would be the top ones. Or actually, these are nodes three, four, five, and six, or three, four, and five. Add it, OK, and apply. Our model's defined. Now I can go ahead and run this, so go to Analysis, analyze the entire model. Under solution type, select complex eigenvalue. Select direct. And click OK. Next, we can hit apply and run this job. Click XDB to import the results and hit apply. Under results, let me first hide the model tree. Under results, here I can see all the values. Now I can start comparing. Here the first mode is a really small value, so is the second one. 
The third and fourth one have a value of 27 and 55 hertz. Here I have the first and second mode followed by the third and fourth mode. And here they visually show you, so I'll go ahead and do that. So select mode one, select the French result. If I just select that, you'll notice just the color. What I can do is uh, increase the thickness of the line. Hit apply. Going back to select results. I have eigenvectors translational for the deformation results, so then this moves. And then going on to mode two. Mode three and mode four. And you'll see this uh, is aligned with uh, what they get here. Make sure to save this. And this concludes this example.